like this one, right? Here I've got two conjugates, but I, I mean, I don't know. We just tend to forget that these are conjugates, which is okay because we can use FOIL to do this, right? So I can take two times, two times the square root of six times two times the square root of six. So that would be four, I'm gonna write it out, sorry. Two times the square root of six times two times the square root of six. Maybe I should have given myself more space. Then I'm gonna factor it in, I'm gonna multiply it by the negative eight two. So negative, well, we'll put plus two times the square root of six times the negative eight, that's fine. And then we'll add, so eight times two times the square root of six. I wrote too big in the beginning there, dang it. And then I'm gonna distribute the eight over here too, so plus eight times negative eight. So right here I've got uh, two times the square root of six, which is gonna be squared. So that's gonna be four times six, which is 24. And then over here, we're gonna add this to, uh, that would be negative 16 times the square root of six, plus the other 16 times the square root of six from this one. And these two are gonna cancel out and that's great. So I've got plus zero really. And then I've got eight times negative eight, which is negative 64. Right, minus 64, minus 64. So this ends up being a negative 40 when we combine all this stuff. Let's take a look at that. That first term there, since it's multiplication just in this term, I can rearrange it using the commutative property, meaning that I would have two times two times the square root of six times the square root of six like this. Now two times two is the four, and the square root of six times the square root of six is six.